Hey, many fish. It's the 11th of June, 2018. And uh, a couple days I've been, this has been on my heart. It's just I've known all along that there's something that we're being shown through this whole Triple Crown series here. Okay. Most of you know about our jockey. He is a believer and praises Jesus openly on a regular basis. And he is riding Justify. Okay. Now, this is just crazy beyond belief. And I made notes. And, you know, it's just the way it is. You guys know. So, I'm going to do the best I can. And, and what I noticed first of all was that he was posted at number seven and then seven and then one it was the first thing that really came upon me and what it what it did was lead me to the generational uh genealogy and i'm gonna understand this is how it comes to me you guys just bear with me thoroughbred racing okay is all about blood all about blood justify himself i believe was the grandson or great grandson of seattle slough okay and it goes on and on and on is what i'm saying these bloodlines run back multi 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 generations okay and he was the 13th horse to win the triple crown so i'm looking at that as a as a uh, generational thing as well as the rebellion we know that we're seeing the rebellion anyone who doesn't see this wicked rebellion rising i just i'm beyond words okay but nonetheless generationally 13 and he was post seven seven and one and it just comes into my mind okay jesus 77th from adam and he is the only one who can justify man okay that's how it came to me the 13 oddly enough joseph in the line of now what i'll do you guys so we don't have to get into deep into the genealogy here a lot of people don't like that but it's all about the blood people uh, i'll link this i'll be sure and link this and you can research this stuff yourself it is just incredibly awesome okay so determine that it's a generational thing jesus 77 the one who can justify the triple crown I knew that there was something to this, but I, honestly, I didn't know what. So I keep looking around, and I come across in uh, this article here where they're presenting the trophies, all these silver dishes and trophies and whatnot, right? And I'm just drawn to this trophy. This is actually the new Triple Crown trophy. It's never been given before. And I did a little research into it. And it was redesigned in these last couple years. Uh, I'll link all this stuff. It's pretty crazy stuff, but it's a new trophy. So I'm thinking, wow, that's a weird, just a weird looking trophy. I'm drawn to it. I just want to see it. So, of course, I find images of it. But there really aren't that many good ones, to be honest with you. But I want to show you the old one first. This is the old uh, triple crown trophy. And, it, you know, it's only seven and a half inches tall. But it's an equilateral tetrahedron, one inverted, larger than the bottom upright one. Okay, those are tetrahedrons. And this is important because this plays into everything about this, how the dark side uses this. This is all Kabbalistic. This is what it represents in their world. The tetrahedron is the head. This is all alchemy. This is all black magic, blah, blah, blah. But this is how they see it, okay? So think of that. The tetrahedron represents the father, fire, the head. That's what it is. That's how they see things. Can't help it. So the tetrahedron, that's what the old trophy was. An inverted larger one on the base. And in the center, there were three levels, each with six stanchions in between. The middle, I hope you understand, as above, so below, the middle with six, six, six on three levels. This gets really deep, man, the heavens and all this stuff. But this represents the New Jerusalem heaven, the, the kingdom of God. 
This is obviously the kingdom kingdoms of the world. The triple crown, the three crowns around each three sides. Okay? The three the three worldly kings. This is just how this stuff comes to me, you guys. Are represented by David, Solomon, and Jesus himself. The three fleshly righteous kings. David and Solomon. Well, we know what happened to David and Solomon. Jesus, through his blood, did it for the rest of the world. He is the one, the only one, who can justify. Very, very good study to look this word up in the Bible, you guys. 11 verses, 11 matches. There's a couple that really, Isaiah 53, talks all about the coming of Jesus. Hundreds of years before he came. I mean, you can't deny this stuff. He shall see the travail of his soul and be satisfied. This is God, by his knowledge, shall my righteous servant Jesus justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. You understand? Look at the word 771. <laughs> Luke 16, 15. This is the world. This is, this is what you're dealing with if you're not in Christ. You are trying to justify yourself, and you can't. People do. I did before men. But God knows your heart. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. Please study this word in the Bible. It is... I can't even describe it. But anyway, so that's the old... The old uh, triple crown trophy. Now check out the new one. This is crazy. Here it is right here. Check this out. This is the new one. This one's 36 inches tall. Okay? And it has multiple levels. Look how this thing's built. Sits on an equilateral triangle as a base and has a tetrahydron on it. If you guys, I'm telling you what this stuff represents in the occult world is crazy, but this is God speaking in so many ways. And look, instead of a capstone, it has the earth, the globe. <laughs> okay? Okay? And it has this tower with this big crown on it. You have the three crowns on this tetrahedron, tetrahedron. The three kings, the three worldly kings under the earth. That represents Jesus. And that represents the New Jerusalem. This is just how it comes into my spirit. The horse, the, the golden horse, the crown just crazy you guys but I, I can't help it this is how I see it and how this led you wouldn't believe where this goes but I just got to show you this real quick and when I, when I saw this right like like look at it just I'll show you all right look at it just from that perspective right there and tell me that that doesn't look exactly like let me find it that seriously now i'm just saying that is almost like identical and it just it came into my mind so it's there for a reason you know what i mean seattle seattle slew justifies granddaddy right so this it leads me to seattle in this thing and all i'm going to show you is this one thing and there's so much more but i just can't keep track you understand what i mean I'm looking through these images and I'm just poking around and you see this image right here it's Seattle and you see this big old giant mountain here believe it or not that's almost 50 miles away that thing is huge you know what that is Mount Rainier and Mount Rainier this is their words not mine okay so it is considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. I'll even show it to you guys. I'll read it all over again just to show you that. Here it is. Mount Rainier is considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. And it's on this volcano list. And it hasn't really blasted off for like 124 years or something like that. And there it is next to the needle. Jeez, 
I wish I could explain this stuff better, you guys. I do. But, and there's the kingdom of God right there. That's what my spirit tells me it represents. Now, in the occult world, you know, as whatever. But that's crazy, guys. I can't wait to see what you guys think. You, you commenters are the most awesome people. I, I simply cannot wait to just, like, hang out with every single one of you. Unbelievable stuff, people. So, I guess that's about it for this, this whole thing here. Justify. Wow. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 